YouTube, how we doing? PPS here, YouTube, play of the daytime. We're coming at you guys, ready to roll for uh, some college basketball. We get we get some tournaments. We're into some in-season tournament time, so obviously it, it's a fun time to get some bets in, um, especially when uh, there's games all day. So I will actually be betting on a game that, that starts a little bit earlier than usual for me. So I'm um, excited for that. Obviously, um, want to get into it right away. Um, I will be doing the college basketball one today, uh, but we'll recap both from last show. Um, Cavs, Celtics, that was gross. First quarter was terrible, and we still missed by th two. Um, that was that was disappointing. Uh, I, the second quarter was what kind of what I expected the whole game. Um, lucky for us, um, if you do follow me over in action, we cashed our first half over in the Bucks game last night against the Bulls. So, obviously, I'm happy to get back on track in the NBA over there. Um, winner we did have was uh, Georgia. Ended up closing at like 89 and a half, so felt pretty good about uh, the line moving, movement our way. Um, and, uh, yeah, exciting to get after it. Back in the green college basketball. Um, and uh, let's get into today. So I will pop us over to, um, I believe it's DraftKings. Either one, DraftKings, FanDuel, I believe are the same lines. Um, I think it might be like four or five cents different. So. I'm going to be taking the over 162 uh, 162 and a half. Um, I know this is a really big line, guys, for college basketball, but uh, just just hear me out here a little bit um, because I, I know this is one of those tournaments, right? I know this is an earlier game, and and both of those things I don't like, right? Those are those are the trend things that I don't like, and um, I guess I gotta convince you why I do like it in. Uh, here's why. So we, we got Florida Atlantic, obviously very, very good offense, right? 40th um, in offensive rating in the country, according to Ken Palm. They run at a pretty fast pace, 45th. They do not have Golden anymore, which, in my opinion, kind of slowed their offense down because obviously you've got to have a seven-footer get down the court. Um, this year, that they're running pretty small. Um, I know they are rolling, um, I think it's Becca Lightis, um, freshman. Uh, he's a seven-footer. He's, he's getting about 20 minutes a game. Um, but, uh, I, I'm just, I like how they run their offense, right? They, they're, they're very quick. They have the one big guy, but he only plays 20 minutes a game, but you look at their starters, right? Um, and mind you, they've had a very tough schedule. They've been playing good teams. So their top four guys are all 28, um, plus minute guys, um, outside of one, um, who I believe had a foul trouble game where he's at 26 still, but they're all in double digits, right? Every starters in double digits in those they run three guards and then a guy named Caleb Glenn, um, who's seven, almost 17 a game, um, six, seven sophomore. Um, I think he's going to be a problem for these guys, especially with how well they shoot the basketball. I, I understand that when you go to a neutral court, it's a little bit different. Obviously, you shoot a little bit worse. But with the pace that Oklahoma State plays with, I don't think it's really going to matter uh, that much. Um, I know they haven't really played anybody. Um, that That's my only issue with them on that side. But uh, – when you look at this team, right, they're going to be <clears> – <throat> they haven't really had to play all of their starters that much um, because they've been blowing teams out and they have a, they've played some pretty pretty crap teams, right? So Oklahoma State um, has played a net ranking of uh, 265 um, in terms of, like, strength of schedule so far. So obviously not very good. And this Florida Atlantic team is going to be their toughest test by far. But <clears throat> uh, I still – I don't trust this defense. They're not going to have any size really. Um, and I do like um, the two bigs for Oklahoma State being their top two guys. Uh, Osamane um, for Oklahoma State, 6'10". And then uh, Marcellus Avery, another senior. So they got two seniors, 6'8", 6'10". I think they're going to be, be more of an issue here um, than I initially expected um, because they're big dudes. They're old guys. They're going to be able to kind of, you know, they've been to these holiday tournaments before. So I'm not really worried about – um, a little older Oklahoma State side here on this spot. But I think this pace is going to be so fast. Um, I love how Oklahoma State shooting almost 80% from the free throw line, right? And obviously both teams have been shooting the lights out of the basketball. Um, but even if they don't and they shoot, you know, average 30, 34% from three, um, I think this pace is going to kind of give us um, the the ability to not be as efficient. Because looking right now, like I said, Florida Atlantic 45th, 72 Point three possessions per game. Oklahoma State 
a more than willing dance partner at 73.3. I think it's going to be a really fun game to watch. Um, it's a 130 star time. So uh, I don't want to play first half. I, I actually kind of lean the under in the first half just because I think it does start slow. But, you know, when you start going in these things, I think you're going to start to see these teams free up a little bit um, and, and kind of get to that spot where they're like, oh, wow, this is – we're going to have some fun today, right, in these holiday tournaments. Obviously, you want to win them. But um, obviously for, for Oklahoma State, this is a huge step up for them before they get into their um, conference season. And FAU um, obviously has played some pretty good, pretty damn good teams already. They're, they're pretty highly ranked in terms of net rating um, and who they've played. And um, UCF, they played to a 194 game, right? That's a fast-paced team. You go to another game in Charleston, fast-paced team. And they put up 97 on Indiana State, which is pretty impressive. So uh, I think this would be a fun spot. I like the over quite a bit. Um, I'm sure it'll probably get bet down. So if you want to wait a little bit, that's fine. Um, but just know it's a 1.30 start time. I would not be surprised to see it bet down just because, you know, I, I kind of list it off. It's the venue, being at a different spot, and um, obviously uh, being a day game. I know a lot of people don't like betting those day games for overs, but, hey, that ain't me. I, I just think the numbers in the – and, and the personnel match up for a fun game here today. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate um, all the support. If you could hit that like button, I appreciate it. And uh, make sure you check out Pass the Prop for uh, NFL bets tonight. So thank you guys. Have a good one and uh, best of luck.